So for today, we will start what is rate of change. So first, you have to understand, number one, you have to understand what is rate. Okay, now what does rate mean? Rate means anything that deals with time, right? Now when I say time, it means uh, something over the T. Oh, so the time here means over the T. So for example, example, if I say I have a uh, in this question, right? It says the land increasing at the rate of five mm per second. So land increase at a rate of five mm per second. Now my question to you is, what is this? It says I have a rate. So you must tell me, when I ask you this, what is this? You must tell me this is the something over the something. So what is this? DL over DT. Very good. So then if I go on to say, is decreasing? Eh? So another example, if I say, so in this case, the L over dt will be equals to 5 mm per second, right? Now if I change the question to length decreasing at a rate of 4 mm per second, so what is what is the what what is this value for? What are they referring to? DL? Uh, okay, this, this, this second here refers to time, right? But I, I want you to tell me what is equals to 4. So what is equals to 4 mm per second? So what is this? When I ask you what is this, you must tell me the something over the something. So what do you think? DL over DT. But what's the difference between this and this? The first one and the second one, the five and the four. The first one says increasing. Increasing, so I have five. The second one says decreasing, so therefore I must have what? Negative. So here must be negative. Can you understand? Okay. Now let's try some question. Uh, let's take a look at textbook. Page 386. Question two. So let me copy down the question first. You read first. Okay. Then. So what's the first thing they ask you? value of t, right? They want to find value, that means t equals to what? So how do, we, how do I find? The t equals to what? Let's say a, yeah? t equals to what when something is equals to 5. What is this something? dl over dt, very good. So then from here, how do we continue? So I want to find t equals to when dl is t, but I'm given this. I am given this thing here. I'm given this thing here. So what must I do? What must I find? Before I can use this information, what must I find first? From this equation. Come again. Differentiate, very good. So I can write then my dl over dt, right? How do I differentiate? Negative. Why negative? The three times on top become negative. Huh? You mean three negative one? Three negative one, huh? So you want to do this. So let's try, huh? So L is equals to three negative one T cube again, right? I, the cube never change negative, right? Okay. So minus 40 plus 10. 
Okay, let's try and differentiate. So the L over the T, what do I get? Three. 9t square, not really 9t square. Huh? Let, let me copy down. This is 3 ne negative 1, right? Then minus 3 come down. This is t square minus 4. So my question is, what is 3 minus 1 times 3, 1? 3 to the power of 0, and this 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, right? Or what we can understand is actually. This is actually, uh, no, sorry. This is actually t cubed over three, right? Now, after I differentiate, after differentiate, what will happen? It will become three t square over three. So, do I need to bring the three up? No need actually. I just bring down and then here. So here you can see this is actually equals to t square. So from here, what do we have? We have this is equals to this time this equals to one, right? So this is t square minus four. Okay, now let's continue. So I still want to find my value of t when the L D T is equal to five. What what's the next step? Sub in. Sub in this equals to what? Five. So sub the L over the T equals to five. So t square minus 4 is equal to 5, right? So t square is equal to 9, t is equal to 3, or negative 3, right? Go square root, then here I must reject. So can do? Okay, good.